What's up guys? It's your boy Alex again. Coming back for another one. Vlog number 12. Um, not really sure what's going to be in this vlog. You know, all of it. But right now we are on our way to go get rid of all this hair. All this pretty hair. It's because Gabby thinks I need to get a haircut before the wedding. <laughs> Which, by the way, is from this day right now. We've only got like... 13, 13, right? 13 days left. And then my days. life will be over and her life will start. So, 13 days. Thumbs up for her. Thumbs up for me too. I love you, baby. Mwah. And so, that's what we're up to right now. And Super Clips was right next to the house. I thought it was going to be a bit more of a drive. Oh, <gasps> they have a Starbucks. There's a Starbucks here. Starbucks here. Y'all remember my Starbucks you video. You want to yourself and get a Starbucks too with a haircut? That would be a good treat, wouldn't it? Got my nails done, toes done. Shit, it's busy this morning. Yeah, Gabby got pampered as hell. It's it is fun. busy. Are those people waiting to get cuts? Probably. <laughs> the no wait sign. Yeah, they're waiting. <laughs> you know. Sports clips, let's go. Sports clips. It's uh back that way. Okay. That was gonna do what? Pretty. You're pretty. She's pretty, right, guys? Okay, yeah, yeah. Can I get a venti mocha peppermint frappuccino? No whipped cream, no toppings. Six pumps peppermint. Or sorry, no, five pumps peppermint, three pumps mocha. No chocolate curls. Right. And no up cream. Alright, anything else? A uh a grande caramel mocha frappuccino. Alright, anything else for uh Well is that, is that what you normally get, babe? I guess. I don't know what it's called. You always order Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, sure. Yeah, that's it. Eleven sixty at the window. Uh you gonna get money up? Me. You're the one with the money. Me. I just go work for it. Yeah, okay. I do. No. I work for it. No, I know it works. <laughs> we ain't married yet. But see, see this? This right here. This is how marriage works. There you go. What are you doing? I'm gonna eat some stuff. Eleven sixty. You don't eat it. You drink it. Eleven sixty. I eat mine. <laughs> Straw and all. Straw and all. Eleven dollars. I better be eating something. <laughs> so we're here. Y'all can see that up on that TV up there. I'm on deck. See, that means I'm next. Maybe. I've been next for about five minutes now. So we'll find out. They screwed up. I'm not happy right now. I go and I give her a picture exactly what it is that I'm looking for, exactly what I'm wanting. And she's like, oh, okay, I'll give you a little faux hawk. Faux hawk was not in the picture. I mean, this is not what I'm looking for. I'll put a picture up of what it is that I'm actually looking for, but this is, this is not it. This is, this is just, oh! And it messed up, but you know, I think I can make it look better. She's gotta show my personality. Let it shine. No, but <laughs> all I was wanting today was a nice, relaxing, sleep till five o'clock in the afternoon kind of day. Nope. I got a call first thing in the morning at like seven o'clock saying, hey, this is Sheila from some trailer home place because we like to go and just cruise around. It's like window shopping for really big purchases. It's fun. If you haven't do it, you should definitely try it. It was like, hey, you interested in a house? I was like, no, I think we're going to go a different direction. She's like, all right, I'll call back in six months. I was like, oh, please don't, but okay. And after that, well, I woke up. The drinks, I'm parched. Gabby's looking fly as ever in this little outfit thing she got going on. Say, what, girl? And so, we got to do that. 
And we gotta get bills taken care of. Because this is... Oh yeah. That fan was probably loud for y'all, wasn't it? This is the last week before the wedding that Gabby's gonna be here. She leaves in one week. It's less than a week. I can't believe you just pulled hair off of me <laughs> in the middle of a video. <laughs> I love you. Just trying to make you look good. <sighs> if you want to embarrass me, make your own vlogs. <laughs> Anyways, guys. So, <laughs> my manly man out there. Um, <laughs> you can't be affectionate. I'm never affectionate. Nope. That is true. I'm just kidding. That hurts. <laughs> We're gonna run to the bank. We're gonna run to another place. Um, another place. Another place. Another place. Another place. Another place. Y'all gonna catch along. I'm not really sure what the title of this vlog is gonna be yet, but we're gonna find out probably right before I upload it what the title will be. So, the last minute wedding shenanigans? You know, maybe last minute wedding shen. No, that's not me. That's uh, shenanigans. I don't even know how to spell that. S C N A N I G A N S. So, we just got done picking up drinks. And of course, Monster is my drink of choice. Gabby's is. Gabby, what are you drinking? I don't know. It's a cappuccino thing. She's drinking a vanilla flavored cappuccino. And so now we are heading to the bank. We gotta go pick up some checks. And then we gotta go to a place that I don't like to go to. Because it's it sucks going to one of these places. It's kind of like a payday loan. And yeah, mom, if you're watching me, I know you told me so. I know it. Um, but we gotta do that because we need some extra money to help us out with this honeymoon. And so, well, this is about the best way to do it. It's expensive, guys. Whoa, <clears throat> take that out. You know, the the honeymoon and the wedding. It's expensive, guys. I just went by the bank, picked up some checks. And it's kind of hot in here. Now you just sound cheesy. Yeah, I do sound cheesy. Got some money though. Um, about to go get some more money. Pay a bunch of bills. And go, go pay a bunch of bills. We're getting new phones up here at Best Buy. I love me some Best Buy. But no. We're getting the new iPhone X's. Well, I, semi new. So, that should be great. But, uh, yeah. Good service. Pretty cool phones. I'm switching to iPhone versus Android, which is what I got now. So, we just got them. Both of them. Yeah, boy. Two iPhone X's. Fresh. Brand new. Off the press. Or, well, the machine making setup. And now I'm still recording off the the Samsung because I have never had good luck with iPhones. What, what do you want to make a bet? You want to make a bet? I'm thinking 10 days before I shatter that screen. I've beat that record before. I've shattered my screen in three days. That was my uh, fastest record right there. It's three days shattered the screen. Oh, so mad. iPhones and me, we don't get along very well, but I figured why not go ahead and get one. Gabby's getting a new phone. I like new stuff. So now we're heading to Walmart and gonna go get some screen protectors, cases. Alright, guys. So, the official unboxing of the iPhone X. Um, your standard iPhone box. Pop open the top. You're greeted with some pamphlets. And uh, this is where the iPhone should be sitting. No. No? Okay. I see what I did. Sorry. <sighs> Let me redo this one. iPhone box. You open it up. You're greeted with a pamphlet and skadoosh. The actual iPhone itself. 
But here it is, you got your really nice screen up in the front. Um, you got two cameras in the back with a flash and something else, don't know what that is. Um, really big power button. And your little port thing. Now I'm going from the uh, Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, which I'll pull the protective stuff off here. All right, so this is the phone that I've been working with. Um, you know, and it's, I like the fact it's got the always on display and the back's just clean. The fingerprint scanner is back here. That's something I didn't like. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's, it's a full screen. It's a good screen. So now, for the iPhone. First thing I have to do anytime I buy a new phone is I have to get something to protect it because Lord knows I will break it. So I got me an OtterBox and a, uh, a glass screen protector by Blackwebs. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on first. Move that out of the way. Okay. Cleaning thing. Um, a blue sticker. Okay, maybe I do need to read these directions. So we have our screen thingy faced up, and then we'll put our phone in there. Once we take off the, uh, I love this part. Oh, sorry if you're not doing this, you just don't understand. screen. I love new screens. Place it down. Put a spot right there. We need to peel this little deal off. Come on. We're going to let it go like that. Now it's got where you need to be top of the uh, phone and whatnot like that. Directions say push right here. Go up. Okay. Let me go ahead and peel this back. Did y'all just see that? It did its own little shaping to the phone. Th oh, no. So, that's the phone with the protective shield on it. I do have a couple little white spots, little air bubbles in there. Um, it's not really all too much I can do about that. So now that we got that done, we're going to get into our box. If you've done one in an box, you've done them all. They're basically, they're all the same. So I will speed through this. Be right back. All right, so that's that. Um, oh cool, I can still see the white on the back there. And So it's been a long time since I've used iPhone, so I'm gonna have to learn how to do this again. Does it rotate? I don't know. Why is that Says I've only got one bar of data though. <laughs> one bar of service. That's weird. We are hardcore when it comes to the gym. Okay, <laughs> not really. But even though we did something great like got phones today, we are still going to go bust our butt at the gym. Um, did I get more service when I lifted the phone up? Huh. So, uh, we've got to be at the gym in about 25 minutes. Gabby's got her session with Caleb, our personal trainer. And, yeah, it was great that we are able to get phones. It's what hard work and dedication does. You know, it pays off in the long run so yep gonna get some pre-workout um gonna change hit the gym and that might be it i don't know there might be something else going on we'll find out 
So the gym was great. I didn't go. I had to stay because the AC guy came up, showed up to the house. Was expected, but we completely forgot about it. Anyways, I'm going to make uh, hot wings tonight, so this is going to be like um, cooking with the elders. <laughs> I guess. But anyways, you need a couple things to make hot wings, right? First thing that you need. Chicken. Check. Um, and we're going to start cutting up the chicken. Now, you're going to want a pretty good knife for this. Cutco, I don't need to use this knife for this. Instead, my absolute favorite knife. This is my absolute favorite knife, guys. This is a Cutco knife. It's wicked sharp. It's great. So, close the fridge up. Anyway, so we get our chicken. All right, we just got chicken wings, right? The whole chicken wing, not sections. And we want this fresh. We don't want that frozen crap in a bag. Cut off the wing tip right there. I'm just gonna put it right there for right now. And then right here where the wing opens up, right? You wanna go straight through here. And after you do it a couple times, you'll figure out where you wanna cut it at. Um, you just cut straight through the bone, just like that. It's exactly what you're looking for. Take your two pieces, put it back with the rest of your chicken, and you just continue this process till they're all chopped up. While you're doing this, go ahead and heat your oil. Um, we're frying our chicken. You bake them? Yeah, you're a sissy. Wussies if you're baking your chicken for hot wings. You, you, you just ruin it that way. You don't do that. But uh, go ahead and start preheating your oil. Um, I don't know what the exact the exact temperature should be. Uh, but I get mine set at 400. Because by the time I put the chicken in there, it'll drop down to about 360. And then balance itself out. I may drop down to about 370. So, anyways, I'm going to finish cutting these up, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so we got all of our chicken here all cut up. All your uh, wing tips, I think is what they're called. I don't need them. So I just trash them. So while this is still getting hot, we're going to move over to our sauce. Uh, we're going to move over to our sauce. Let's get that started. So to make a good sauce, it's real simple. You need a pot. You need a burner. Okay, we're going to go ahead and kick this up to about high, medium, high, somewhere there, medium, high, high, something like that, you know, you know what I'm saying, get in your fridge and find yourself some Frank's Red Hot Original, okay, good stuff, this is going to be the base for our hot wings, if you're running on gas, um, for your stove top, don't turn it on first. Anyways, I like to do... Uh, just take that completely. Oh. Shake it up first. Make sure it all gets cutting around in there. And so, one cup. Two, three, four. 
four, five. We're gonna do six tablespoons of butter. Which is good because that's all the butter that was left in this. Normally I only put about five, maybe four, but put the rest of it in there. It's all good. Uh, one thing that I like to add is I, I like more of a garlicky kind of taste. I like to add some of this carbon garlic. I have a lawyer's or Lao Lao Ray's, whatever it's called. I do one cup of this. That's only about half a cup. So normally I'd be in trouble, but uh, huh, I got extra. I use this stuff on just about anything. Up. Boom! You can kind of start to smell it. We're gonna put this back in the fridge. Now, finish it off. Guys, I, I love me some Worcestershire sauce. It don't matter what it's on. Worcestershire sauce goes good on anything. If I do biscuits and gravy, it's got Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Yep, that's how you say it. But, anyways, pop it open. Just kind of let it. Gonna do its thing. Yeah, it's probably good. We're just gonna let that kind of get to a little like a like a slow boil. I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more so we can get that butter melted. Throw this away. All right, guys. So we've let it boil, and it's uh, butter's melted. All that other good stuff going on. Uh, make sure not to really let it boil. Like a fast boil or hot boil or whatever, because it'll start sticking. That's not good. So now, because I like the garlicky taste, let me look here. I'm looking for ah, garlic powder. Yeah, it's a big thing of garlic powder. I know, but we love our garlic powder. So take this, put it in there. steam isn't going to help you, right guys? It's going to clog up the openings to let your powder out. It's, it's just not good. So, try your hardest not to let steam get in there. Like I did. Yep. Yeah. I got no more powder coming out. So I'm going to use the big side. Oh. Yep, that's plenty good. Plenty enough. Mix it in. You don't want it to pump up, you're gonna get a mouthful of garlic. I wanna give a shout out to my dad. He's the guy who taught me how to make some hot wings. And we have hot wings just about once every two weeks now. I'm serious, because I mean it's it's cheap and it's good, you know what I'm saying? Cheap and good. All right, guys. So our temperature has, for the most part, heated up. Um, I'm going to remove the lid. So now, dealing with grease, like you just saw, dealing with grease is hot. Okay, grease is hot. Just saying, splashes up, gets on you. you you're gonna wish you was dead. So, get your pan out right, you're gonna do a one, two, seven, <laughs> however many, right? Um, I don't like putting them all in there at the same time because then they'll get clumped up. So I'll just do about half of this pack. Yeah, that's probably a good amount. Um, now, <laughs> We're gonna put the lid on as soon as we get this down there because it's gonna to start to bubble. And when you put it down there, shake it a little bit. Because you do not want your chicken to stick to that. You don't want that. So shake it some, get it loose. But God forbid, don't burn yourself. It's it's bad if you burn yourself. But anyways, we're gonna let this go for about 15 minutes, come back to it. It should start looking pretty good. 
Alright guys, so the uh, wings, the 15 minute timer just went off, right? So, oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So sit right there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift it out of the grease, let it drain some. Look at that, nice and golden. I feel like Chef Ramsay. Mmm, golden. Oh, I already talked, so I don't know. Alright, so we're going to take it, we're going to put it on our paper towels. And this, the only reason why we're putting it on the paper towels right now is just so that we can get the grease to drain off of it. Now we're going to go ahead and put the rest of our chicken in here. Alright. There's the chicken. Shake it up. Perfect. So now we've got some of the grease off, right? So we're gonna grab ourselves a uh, this little bucket thing, big old bowl, right? Take these suckers and let them all fall into there. All right. So now we got fried chicken. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the microwave. You know what? Better yet, I'm going to throw it down there in the oven. Just to keep it out of the constantly cold air, we're going to set another 15 minute timer for this. Uh, hey Siri, set a 15 minute timer. Good. And so we got 15 minutes going on our timer. Right on. So we're going to go back over here to our sauce, stir it around a little bit, make sure none of it's sticking. Um, see you in a second. Alright guys, so uh, we just got done with our hot wings. Check them out, looking great, looking great. We'll make some better. Take your sauce, alright, pour them all over the hot wings. All shebang. them up. Good grief. Alright, we'll make sure they get all nice and mixed up. Man, can y'all see this in there? Look at that. That is perfect. Still got to keep mixing though. And the sauce is hot, so if you're not used to flipping nothing, I wouldn't recommend doing it with hot sauce. Anyways, <coughs> Woo. those are done. The fries are starting to get to where they need to be. <sighs> so now, get ourselves a plate. Because it's just Gabby and me, we'll call it that. That's a whole lot of sauce in there. So I'm going to pour a little bit of it out. Here. Alright. See, I'm happy with that. That looks good. We're going to take some of it. We're going to pour it on our bowl here, our plate. Now, because I'm still learning the art of chicken wings, because that is an art to chicken wings, okay? There's an art. I don't care what no one tells you. There's an art to this. Because I'm still learning. I like to take a little bit of the remainder and do some kind of a dry season to it, right? I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese and see if this does any bit okay. Garlic and Parmesan should mix well, I think. I hope so. Add some of that in there, and mix it up. Ah. Ah. Right? Get it all mixed up. Other side of the plate. Oh yeah. And you can kind of 
tell which one's the which, but if you can't, take some more. Just like that. That's done. Now our french fries, right? Our french fries are, our french fries are done. All right, guys, so we got awesome wings, delicious, crispy french fries. I'm loving it. We're going to sit down and watch a movie tonight, so stay tuned for the next Elmore's Kitchen. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, throw down a you know comment if you want to see more of Elmore's Kitchen's cooking shows or whatever. Um, but anyways, that's, that's going to wrap it up for me tonight. Uh, we're going to go ahead and chow down on some food and watch a good movie. We got Thor, one of them. I don't know which one. But anyways, we're going to do that. Um, so yeah, guys, you know, throw a comment. You know, it really helps me out, boost my esteem a little bit. Subscribe, smash that like button, hit the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with every little thing I do. Which if you do, you, you might be considered crazy. Because I'm not like super popular or nothing. But anyways, I'll catch y'all later. That's it. Peace.